and many times when we go out, and many times when we go out, and the children, mashallah, them assume, and that reminds me that once I had gone to meet a very big businessman, a top businessman in Bombay, very big businessman, and when I met him, I had my son with me, that time he was in second standard, and the businessman was smoking. So my son said, uncle, smoking is haram. Smoking is haram. I would think Finish. I would think ten times. You know, you know, you know, to say directly, we have to see for the situation, and we see whether what is the right time. They should not feel hurt, etc. We'll think ten times how to say, when to say, what to say. And the young child said, and the person put off his cigarette immediately. Easy. Easy. So mashallah. So mashallah, we should see to it that we should have vision of how we want our children and what they should become. We have a concept that on average, when we have four divisions. If 100 students pass out in a year from one school, 50% may go in the mainstream. May become doctors, engineers, lawyers. But when they become doctors, they'll be true Muslim doctors, having knowledge of Islam. True Muslim engineers, true Muslim businessmen. 50% may go in the Islamic field. May become Dai, Muhaddis, Mufassir. May take up teaching, Islamic teaching, Alhamdulillah. So in this way, can we change the next generation? We can't keep on cribbing about what's happening. We should make a beginning. And in this way, and mashallah, in this way the mashallah, main the I main success that I feel of the school is that our interviews are very strict. The interviews we conduct are so, the interviews strict, we conduct that are so strict that, started, that the rules that we, the rules that we started, the rules are unheard of. We broke most of the conventional pattern. Normally, for the students, they have got three interviews, the child. And even the parents are interviewed, the father and the mother. They have to undergo two interviews of average of one and a half hour each. And the final interview is taken by me. And Alhamdulillah, in the second year, we had 800 applications. 75 seats, 800 applications. So most of the years, we have 10 times more number of applications than the number of seats. And let me tell you, our school is one of the most expensive schools in Bombay. The fees is we had to 25,000 rupees a month, which is very expensive. Average fees in Bombay is 100, 150 rupees. The good convent school, they charge 1,000 rupees, 1,500 rupees. Ours is 25,000 rupees. That is 600 in US dollars. So now there are other schools which are much expensive. But Islamic school, mashallah, so not that it is cheap. But yet, no poor person can say that I did not get admission because I did not have money. We have 25% scholarship quota. The 25% of the seats, even if the person does not pay a single rupee a month, he can get admission. But 25% of the seats have been reserved for poor children. So in our school, we have, mashallah, parents who are earning more than a crore rupee a month. They may be millionaires, there are. They may be earning a million pounds. There are, there are some students whose parents earn 3,000 rupees. But when we give scholarship, we transfer that amount of fees into the current account. So when they get the money, they come and pay full fees to the cashier. So even the cashier does not know who the scholarship child. It's only the management, me and my wife who's the principal, and a few others who know who are scholarship children. So even the teachers don't know who the scholarship child. So we maintain that secrecy. So we transfer the money in the account, they come and pay full fees. So even the cashier does not know. So that we have a proper system and equality while teaching. When we have the formal education, mathematics, history, science, geography, we see to it that in this when we teach, we incorporate 25% Islam in it. For example, when we teach science, we talk about the Big Bang Theory, that a few decades earlier, the scientists that discovered how did our universe come into existence. First there was a primary nebula, then there was a secondary separation, which gave rise to galaxies, the stars and the earth on which we live. Then we say, this is mentioned in the Quran, 1400 years ago, in Surah Ambiya, chapter 21. 